What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. We had to take a little bit of a field trip today to check on the construction at our new uh, headquarters. So I thought I'd bring you guys along so we can go check it out together. Come on, let's go. All right, so let's go check on the inside. This is the main entrance where you're gonna walk in if you come visit the shop or uh, if you come visit for the grand opening. But I'm really excited to show you guys what's going on. So this here is the main entrance way. Like I said, this is actually gonna be the storefront. It's a little bit smaller than what we had initially uh, up at our original place, but um, we're gonna really be able to maximize our space. So this whole area right here is gonna be our main storefront. Lots of beautiful sunlight because of the window there. And then all the way over here, this is all gonna be storefront as well. So these two rooms are gonna be utilized for merchandise and you know, seed shopping and stuff like that. And then this window right here, this is actually really cool. So um, this used to be a, uh, just like a saloon style door, but we actually had them uh, nail it in place. So it's actually, it's actually now a wall and doesn't open. And this is actually gonna be our pick up in store window. So if you actually do things like uh, pick up in store online, that's where you're gonna pick up our order. So it's kind of gonna be like, almost like a pharmacy window, which is really cool. Um, and then coming in here, you can actually see the truck bay. They're actually opening this up. This is where they're gonna be, um, they're gonna be actually filling most of this in with concrete because right now it can accept a full uh, 18 wheeler all the way back. But they're gonna fill in about three quarters of this so that we're not, we don't have to back all the way in with, a, with an 18 wheeler. And then all the way over there, that's all gonna be storage. All of that's gonna be uh, used for just, just overflow storage. Things like you know packets and fertilizer and just miscellaneous palleted stuff that we bring in that usually we have to run to a warehouse uh, you know, one or two times a day to go grab to fulfill orders, that's all gonna stay there. So then over here, this is all gonna be still overflow storage. So this whole side of the building is all for overflow storage. We're gonna have a small little part over here that we're thinking about turning into a little bit of a, um, like an indoor gardening exposition just to kind of show what's possible, use some grow lights and things like that and grow some plants over here in the corner. One thing that they are doing because we're actually located on a little bit of a hill is over time you can see some water damage back here. This is one of the projects that the Masons are gonna be working on in about a week or two. They're gonna be pulling all that brick off, replacing all the brick, and they're gonna put a French drain in around the perimeter of the building to drain all that excess water so it doesn't wick up into the cinder blocks. But you know, you can't really expect a whole, a whole lot of, uh, of perfection from an 8,000 square foot building that's you know, 60 years old. It comes with its flaws. So we did know that going into it. But as you can see, it's got tons of space. Now over here, this is actually where we're gonna be getting into seed fulfillment. So like from basically right about here, all the way around, we're gonna have our, our uh, picking line for actually pulling orders. So every order that you place is gonna have all of our finished seed packets along here on our racks. And then um, if we turn around, this is actually gonna be where we're gonna pack. So this is actually gonna be the packing line. We're gonna have a huge table, if you can envision uh, about probably three feet wide, by about 24 feet long is gonna be our packing table. That's where we're gonna have staff and team members that are gonna be basically taking finished orders, putting them in boxes, and then dropping them in hoppers. And then those big hoppers are gonna get wheeled over to the truck bay where they're gonna get picked up by the postal service. So that's really cool. All right, now over here, this is actually where we're entering um, more of like our merchandise section for the store. So if you go online, you'll see things like t-shirts and uh, it might be like neem oil and little miscellaneous garden, things like that, loose stickers. Those are all gonna be over here in this section. They're building a little hip wall right here that we're gonna uh, double as a, as like a computer desk. So there's gonna be computers here, uh, as well as phones for like our customer service team. And so this whole section right here is gonna be for like the hard goods. Um, Cause that's actually the first thing that we grab when we fill an order, we grab the hard goods and then we grab the seeds and then that goes off to filling. So uh, this really, this looks really good. All right, and then coming this way, this is gonna be our, basically our employee entrance. So um, all of our team members are gonna come through this door. This is actually all gonna be locked off, but we are gonna have windows here, which is gonna be really cool. So we're gonna basically put uh, there's gonna be a big bay window um, facing the river because there's actually the St. Clair River just uh, over that way, right across the street. But we're gonna put a big bay window right there so you can see outside. I'm a huge fan of natural light, obviously. It's so good for just your psyche and your overall you know, well-being. Um, and then we're gonna have a window there, a window there, and then a window over here. 
So this is basically gonna open this whole place up to lots of natural light. Um, and then if we just turn around again, 180, this is all gonna be computers right here. So they're working on this, uh, this uh, desk system here. And so this is gonna be a giant, uh, this is gonna be a giant hip wall here that they're gonna use uh, to, to put computers here. So we're essentially gonna have about enough room for four to seven computers, depending on how, how packed we get. Right now, four computers, if we start growing, we might need a few more. So we kind of built to grow rather than just built for our need. And then this is actually, when the building was first built, they actually used it to bottle soda. There's an old mineral springs that I'll show you. And um, when they first built this building, they had two truck docks. They had a shipping and a receiving truck dock. So um, this would have been the receiving line. And over there where we have our existing truck dock, that would have been the shipping. So this would have been receiving, that would have been shipping. And um, we're gonna be filling this whole thing in. So that way there's no, no pit here to fall into. Um, but this is all gonna get filled in with concrete. And then that way it's really gonna maximize the space that we have to, uh, to work with. And then coming in here, so it makes basically a big horseshoe around. The horseshoe kind of just wraps uh, around the center of the building. This is gonna be our main office. This is where uh, like myself, Cindy, our accountants, and basically just like this is the, this is like the kind of the decision making room here right here. So this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna have um, you know, just a few tables and things set up here, but they actually had a big wall. This whole thing was just, it was a maze of walls. So they actually came in here and took all this out and they're gonna put in a drop down ceiling to just kind of make it a little, little cozier, a little less to heat a lot more energy efficient. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so they're gonna be doing that. And then um, we have a couple works in progress, one being a bathroom in here. So they're gonna be eventually redoing that. That's not something that I feel super proud to show you right now, <laughs> maybe later. Um, and then they did have, uh, they did have a, there was actually an old fireplace. Um, the fireplace we had to actually, unfortunately cover up because uh, for the insurance purposes, uh, having a commercial building with a fireplace is a, a massive, massive liability. So, um, so we actually uh, had them uh, cover it up and block it off, and that way it's going to save us tons of money uh, from the uh, from the insurance liability. So we'll actually walk out. Uh, we'll walk out this way, and um, we'll walk out this way, and we'll check out a few more rooms. So coming in here, this is actually another little room. So on the other side of this wall is our office. So this room right here is gonna be all for our shipping supplies. So like boxes and tape and you know, paper for our printers and everything like that, that's all gonna be in here. Um, so this is basically gonna be our supply room. Um, you know, this, is, uh, this is where if you order something and it goes into a box or an envelope or something like that, we're gonna have all these stashed here kind of out of sight, out of mind, which we don't have right now. Right now it's just piled up or it's in boxes at our warehouse. So again, it's just making things so much more efficient and uh, really, really proud of this. So if you come in this way, um, you can cut, are you lost yet? <laughs> um, this is actually gonna be our IT room. This is where we're gonna have all of our, you know, our modems, our routers, things like that for phone lines, cable, and whatnot. So this is gonna be our IT room. So just a little, little cute room for that. And then this is, the really, this is the really cool room. So this is actually the old pump house. So this is the well. This actually goes down, this is an artesian well that goes down 5,000 feet. And right now we're one of the only people in the state of Michigan that has access to this. We actually have the mineral rights uh, to the mineral water 5,000 feet down. So this is a huge asset. We don't really know what we're gonna do with this yet, um, but obviously we're gonna definitely repurpose this. We're gonna bring up, uh, we're gonna bring a, uh, a, like a pump, uh, pump engineer and mechanic in to just make sure that this is all in working order. Because what they used to do is they used to pump the mineral water up. And if you walk back, you'll notice there's a huge tank up there. And so that tank way up there is actually what they used to gravity feed the mineral water uh, when they would bottle it to make soda. And so then basically brings us back full circle to uh, where we started. So basically, um, like I said, the whole thing is a giant horseshoe. Um, and then this is one little office that I don't have. I don't really have a, uh, I don't really, maybe this might be like a, this might be like a, 
like a meditation room. Maybe we'll have to turn this into like a little yoga studio or something. I don't know. We don't really have a need for, for this room right now, but um, I thought I'd show you this. This is pretty cool. So the original owners, when we bought the building, they, um, they gave us a lot of the newspapers and stuff that came with the building. And here you can actually see, check that out. So yeah, you can see there a little bit better lighting what this, uh, what this used to look like. It used to be called Salutaris. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool, really cool little mineral springs that they had. Um, and this was actually where squirt soda originated. It's pretty cool. All right. So there you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for taking the tour with me. I know it's a giant work in progress right now, so it's kind of hard to see everything. You know, if you can envision it, hopefully you can kind of see what it's going to look like, but we'll obviously be bringing you guys along for updates as they happen. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. And uh, as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch you later. See ya.